So now let's take a look at if statements as before the exact code that we're going to use here in this if statement isn't that exciting but we're really just trying to learn the basic syntax of these statements. So here what we have is I'm generating a random number and then, so I'm just generating a random number there and then the if statement is here below and you can see what the syntax looks like. You start off with if and then there's a space and then whatever comes next this right here can be very complicated but this is what we call a logical expression. This is something that evaluates to either true or false. So x greater than a half, that evaluated to a zero or false because for this specific case that we're running right now, x is only equal to 0 0.45. 0 0.45 is not greater than a half, so it evaluated to this zero. So this is a fairly simple statement, but it could be more complex in general. Because that failed, we're going to go here through the else branch of the if statement. So the syntax is if, some type of logical statement, else, and then the remainder of the code, and then you wrap it up with an end. So because we didn't pass this logical condition, we're going to come in here, and then what are we doing in here? Again, the exact details of this aren't all that important. You can put any type of code that you want based on the type of logical condition and type of logic you need to implement. What I'm doing right here is I'm clearing the display. So if I step, it's going to clear the display. And then it's a way to display the string x is less than a half. So I'm actually just going to print this out to the screen. So I got printed out to the screen. So the DISP command lets you display strings. And then I use the fprintf command to actually print out the value of x to the terminal. So I'm going to use x equals, and this says I want to print a float with a certain amount of precision. So if I let that go, we'll actually print out x equals, and then there's the actual number that we had for x. x was equal to 0.4574. If we turn on format long, we actually can see exactly what it's equal to, to many more bits of precision there. But when we printed it out using the fprintf statement, I just printed it out using three decimal places of precision. So that's why it was rounded to 0.457. So that is, the, that is kind of the, the basic syntax of an if statement. You can actually make this more complicated. We could have done else if x is, x is less than 0 0.2. Could have done something more elaborate here. Maybe something like this. Else 2.3. So logically, this doesn't make much sense. It's not very interesting, but this, this is trying to emphasize how you can also use else ifs. So if, else if, so in this value case, it's equal to 0.14. So it's actually going to go through here and exit. If we let it finish running, we can run through it again. Let's see what we get this time. Maybe we'll get a more interesting value for x. So actually it's greater that time. Let's go ahead and uh, stop. We'll force it to be a specific value this time. So we can get into that second branch of the if statement. So x is equal to 0.22. Let's, have, let's just cheat for a minute and make it equal to that. So it's not going to go into this one because it fails that logical test. It's not going to go into this one because it fails this logical test. It's not going to go into that one either. So again, this is kind of a silly thing. We ended up not going to any of these, but just trying to show how you can do ifs and else ifs. And you can have as many else ifs as you would like. Again, let's also do an example here. You can also combine and make the logical expression much more complicated. So we could do if x is greater than 0.5, else if we could put something more complicated here, x is less than 0 0.4 and uh, x is less than 0 0.2. So this is a logical expression. Oops, I forgot my space. It evaluates to 1 because x is less than 0 0.4. This is another logical expression which evaluates to false because x is not less than 0.2. This and will and both of these. This will end up telling us something false as well. So if we ran this, we would not come into here because this total logical expression evaluates to false. 
And like I said, this is not very interesting or very useful, but just trying to emphasize the point that in your if and else parts of this if statement, what goes inside this logical expression could be something very complicated. And it could be a, a long logical expression, just as long as it all evaluates down to a final logical, a zero or a one. So that's how you do if statements in MATLAB.